Hello, hopefully all of you are okay. I'm going to quickly do a video to show you how to get the Fitbit uh, to receive notifications such as WhatsApp and emails. Uh, before you could only get text messages and incoming calls, um, but with the help of this app that I found, uh, it's now possible to do it. Now I'm going to quickly send myself an email. Give myself one second. Okay, three, two, one, there we go. And there's about, I don't know, about a five second delay usually, so three, two, one. There you go, can you see it's coming through now? Beautiful. Hello. Sounds like quite a desperate message for myself. Maybe I was in trouble, who knows. Um, now, with stuff like WhatsApp, it will um, say the person's name. Um, and sometimes it comes up with the text, the, the, sorry, the message itself, but <clears throat> not always. Um, so I don't know what's going on with that, but I couldn't get these sort of notifications before. Uh, so... You know, it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Okay, so let me go over a few things about this app. It's going to cost £1.80. Oh my god, I know, £1.80. But if you think about it, it's turning your fitness tracker into a smartwatch. So that is a pretty good price, if you ask me. Um, and, what else? It only runs on Android, so I'm sorry if you've got an iPhone, it will not work. Okay, so to do this, let me just grab my phone. All right. I'm just going to go to the Play Store. If you could focus please there we go uh, just type in fitbit notifications and it should be the top one it's a uh, bit ticker fitbit notifications and that is a massive mouthful so go and purchase that okay next go on the app itself so third time i'm doing this video and i can't even click my goodness so they've got some instructions here but luckily i know what to do so let's just uh Let's go and do it. So we're going to go on the Fitbit app. So let's click on that. Okay, so click on the three lines there. Go to devices. And then click at the top there. Where it says charge. Or whatever your device is. And then call notifications. Oh my goodness, I cannot click. Um, and where it says allow notifications access. Make sure that's enabled. And then call notifications. Click on that. And then you, should, you might have a selection there. I'm going to go on bit ticker notifications. Okay, and um, before you click out of here, just go on sync now. It's very important that you sync up your Fitbit now. Okay, brilliant. Next, let's go back to the BitTicker app. And let's just see if it's working now. So click that up there and you should get this message coming through. The connection is okay now. Fantastic, so we can enable whatever apps we want. So you just click on that little plus sign up there and all your apps should start loading up. Um, you can either, you know, scroll down or you can type out what apps you want. I'm gonna type, I don't know, WhatsApp and just click it. Now, you can use it for kind of like any notification app. So I had this football app, to, you know, for the scores to come in. Um, but with that, it was a bit, it, it didn't work perfect. It kept on uh, saying that the game was in progress every five seconds. So as you can imagine, that was a bit annoying. Um, this app isn't perfect, but it, I don't know, I can get notifications on my Fitbit and I couldn't do that before. So if uh, you have the Surge, the Charge or the Charge HR, um, you know, purchase this app. It's it's pretty good. I know it costs one pound eighty, but uh, it's pretty damn good. If you've got any problems with the app, then email the developer because I don't know nothing about this app. Okay, <clears throat> man, I'm gonna cough there. Have a lovely day. See you later. Bye bye.